morning and welcome to a special edition of House Call. We're in month two of our quest to get you ready for summer. What better place to continue our series than in sunny Hollywood, where being fit is a professional necessity. You think walking the beach in a bathing suit is bad? How about being on the red carpet or on a magazine cover? A star's body is under constant scrutiny. The hair, the makeup, the dress, and the smiles. The glamour of Hollywood, but what you see are the results of a lot of hard work, which starts long before they step out of the limo. The June issue of InStyle magazine shows today's stars look good at any age. And InStyle got the skinny on what it takes to get Hollywood's finest red carpet ready. Beyonce is always red, red hot. Her trainer actually has her do very quick uphill sprints before she starts a workout. Alias star Jennifer Garner is known for her sleek and chiseled physique. She actually has to work really hard to get that way. Jennifer Garner and her trainer Valerie Waters work out in Los Angeles five to six times a week starting at four in the morning. Where did Hilary Swank get her fabulous back? A combination of good athletic genes and some moves she picked up at New York City's Gleason's Gym. She was in the ring and she was sparring with the best of them, Golden Glove champion. We could talk about a good view from behind without including J-Lo. She knows how to get it right. She does a variety of different, really rigorous activities to keep herself in shape. With fast-paced lifestyles, many of today's celebs are thinking outside of the exercise box. Natalie Portman loved to take surfing lessons. Sarah Michelle Gellar is a brown belt in Taekwondo. Terry Hatcher is a huge fan of cardio striptease at Crunch in Los Angeles. It just gives people a chance to have fun. And that's what working out should be. Holly Furfer, CNN, Atlanta. We're here in sunny LA at the home and workout studio of celebrity trainer and author of the new book, G-Force. He's Gunnar Peterson. As you can see, people come here to work hard, but you don't have to be a celebrity or have their money to get the body of a star. Gunnar is here to tell us how he whips his clients into shape. He's got a well-known list as well, I'll tell you. Jennifer Lopez, Angelina Jolie, Sylvester Stallone. Pretty big, pretty big names and pretty good bodies. Well, they all do the work. I think that's the, uh, the common denominator is that they do the work. There's no... Uh trying to get out of it and there's no there's no pretending they just come they get it done they get out is there is there something those three have in common i mean is it good genes in their case uh obviously genetics play a, a, a part in it but you can never deny the work ethic the drive the ambition the focus the and, and just the fact that they're not going to be denied as you know we decided to put it to the test a little bit our own brooke anderson stopped by your studio recently to get in a workout and discover what it takes to get a celebrity body First of all, we gonna work on Gunner, I know you've shaped some of Hollywood's best bodies, but I'm hoping you'll share some of those shape-up secrets with little old me. Let's go. I'll flog um, you with the fundamentals. Let's Come get on. to it. I understand you worked with Matthew McConaughey to get him ready for his last movie role. Those abs, we've all seen him with his shirt off. How do we all get abs like that? Well, abs is a combination of work, diet, hydration, got to get your water, um, and sleep so your body can get rid of the excess body fat that it's holding. Are right, you gonna take that ball overhead, extend, tag it behind you, and then bring it up? Okay, like no ab workout I've ever done before. Let me break you off with a pizza. The stars have to wear these low-cut dresses. I know Hillary Swank at the Oscars had one that right down here, her back looked incredible. How do we get the back that looks like that? You have to work the back, you have to work the shoulders. You wanna make sure that you're challenged by the final repetitions of the set. Whether it's 12, 13, 14, 15, or whether it's seven, eight, nine, 10, yeah, it's all about form. Quality over quantity, got it. Gwen Stefani, I know you work with her. She's got some of the best legs in the business. How can I get some legs and glutes like that? First I'll turn it on so you get the feel of it. Then I'm gonna give you a barbell. And I want, no, 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 whoa, oh, whoa, my God. Said, ah! Can you imagine she boards the plane and walks right into the cockpit and starts pushing buttons? Yikes! Oh okay, sorry. Stairs are your friend. Stairs are our friend. And, and stairs are your friend, by the way, in real life, too. Bottom line, there's no, there's no secret. There's no five-minute or ten-minute secret workout that can whip you into shape. Yeah, kind of boring, huh? <laughs> Not too sexy. Thanks for having us. I appreciate it. Anytime. It was fun. Oh, oh, look, oh, look at the improvements. Already. 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 <laughs> do, 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 do. 
Now, Brooke only got to spend an afternoon with Gunnar, but obviously it takes more time than that to get results. Our audience is really curious to know just how celebrities look so good so fast. Got a lot of emails on this, like Lisa in Santa Fe who writes this. How are celebrities able to get in such great shape in so little time? It seems personal training and a desire to be fit aren't always enough. And you know, Gunnar, the thing about it is you think celebrities, you think they have obviously money, they have hours on end to do this, is a train that is, is, is that what it is? Well, I think they have the drive, and I think they have, um, they're have they under the gun more than a lot of people. They're judged not just by their work, but how they look while performing their work, their work. Whether or not you realize how much you're judging them, how many times you've heard people walk outside of the theater and say, I really liked it. I can't believe how heavy he looked thick through here. I mean, just unconsciously, they, they, they are processing and, and factoring and comparing. So, and, and the celebrities know that. I mean, they know that's, that's part of their gig. Clearly, their craft is what takes them where they end up eventually, but their looks can play a part in it. Well, we're going to get into a lot of specifics here because people are obviously very interested in this. Gunnar Peterson has a lot more workout secrets. We're going to get more out of that when House Call returns. CNN, the most trusted name in news. Before the break, we asked, according to a recent poll, who has the best legs in showbiz? According to In Touch Weekly readers, rock singer Gwen Stefani. Coming in second, actress Uma Thurman, followed by Jennifer Lopez. That's not a bad list to be on. Well, one of the trainers who helps to keep those legs in shape is Gunnar Peterson. And we're here in his gym where he makes the stars sweat so they can get on lists like that one. Jennifer Lopez came in third there. And when people heard we were having her trainer on the show, they got lots of questions, not surprisingly. Let's take a listen to one now. OK, I'd like to know what you need to do to have a booty like J-Lo. Let me tell you, that pretty much sums up a lot of the questions we got. So, so what is it with, with her? Is, is it genes? Is it a particular move? What, what is it? I mean, again, genetics play uh, some part in it, but you can't deny the work that goes into that. There's a, if, if you take the mother of all movements, and this is from the National Strength and Conditioning Association, not just from me, although uh, I, I do subscribe to the theory, it's the squat. And, and right away you hear people go, well, I can't do a squat. In fact, you can do a squat. If you go to the bathroom, you can do a squat. It's making the squat work for you. You don't have to have an axial load squat where the weight is on your shoulders. You can have dumbbells down by your side. Uh, you can have dumbbells up top but slightly forward so the pressure is not directly on the spine. Uh, you can vary your foot position. You can vary the cadence. You can vary the angles. And there are ways to do it. Uh, the glutes. The, the butt, it's, it's the biggest muscle group of the body, so metabolically, that's your best friend. You have to work it. You do yourself a disservice to try and train and, and not work that muscle group. Hit it, beat it up, challenge it just the way you would in real life. You, you, you turn at different angles, you turn at different speeds, you, you go from fast to slow, slow to fast. You have to work it that way. If you make it adapt, it has to change. All right, let's move on to another Jennifer now, one famous for her arms and her fighting techniques, alias star Jennifer Garner. Adam in Oregon wants to know this. How does Jennifer Garner keep her body in shape? We probably need to narrow that down a little bit. Let's talk specifically about her arms. And how does someone get arms like hers? Well, uh, I don't work with Jennifer Garner, but uh, if you're going to develop your arms, you have to look at a couple of things. One, tricep is bigger than the bicep, so it has to take more work. Uh, three heads versus two heads, hence the try and buy. Not to mention from shoulder to elbow, what you're seeing, if this is unveiled, is 50% shoulder. So the shoulders play a big part in arm development. And you want the shoulder to look right and in proportion with the bicep and tricep, or you're going to have that flat look and then some kind of st strange inflation here that's not going to ultimately be what you're looking to do. The key is angles. you got to work it differently. You have to challenge it. You have to take uneven loads. You have to do things that require uh, the muscles to be to, to work, to balance. You have to require the synergist and the helping muscles to play. So it's not just the big belly of the muscles, fundamental exercises. That's great. That's perfect for a foundation. But from there, you have to branch out. So don't just do curls. I mean, make sure you're doing your deltoids and Absolutely. triceps as Absolutely. well. And while curls are valid, there are a number of different curls. Straight bar, easy bar, uh, reverse curls, angled curls, 90 degree curls, curls from high, curls from low. You know, there's a lot of permutations there. As, as you're talking to me, I'm holding my shoulders up and sucking my gut in. Did you notice that? I actually got a tremendous pump just doing that. <laughs> Listen, youth is definitely a part of the workout equation as well, but stars over 40 like actors Brad Pitt and desperate housewife Terry Hatcher are showing you don't have to still be in your 20s to have a great body. And that brings us to a question from Heidi in North Carolina. What's required to stay in great physical shape past 40 and achieve a body like Michelle Pfeiffer? Does someone have to train differently as they grow older? I mean, you've been talking about some specific techniques. Does it change depending on the age of your clients? Uh, you do train differently. You have to factor in lifestyle. You have to factor in 
uh, available time. Uh, it doesn't mean you have to train more, and it doesn't mean you have to necessarily train harder. You train smarter, and you train in a way that works for you. Your goals will probably change as well. Um, you want to make sure that, that what you're doing is giving yourself enough time to recover from the workouts. During, in the gym, you're actually tearing your body down. Um, you're putting yourself into a negative nitrogen balance. You're, you're, you're putting the muscles in a place where if you don't feed yourself uh, within 30 to 60 minute window after training, your body's going to feed on the harder and muscles. So you have to train in a way that you can benefit from the work you're actually doing. Okay, and we're going to talk specifics about not just the exercise, but everything else that goes along with it. Really good suggestions for some help getting uh, fit by summer. We also enlisted the help of Step Aerobics creator and trainer Jen Miller. Last month she outlined a walking plan. Now she's back about celebrities and their diets brings us to the most common question we got from our audience. Pamela from Pennsylvania asks it best. Can I really get a body like the celebrities without a trainer or a nutritionist? Gunnar, you got to hear this all the time. Uh, yeah, I do. The first thing I would say, knock yourself out trying, but let me give you my number just in case. <laughs> um, I, I, it comes down to this. If you don't know about exercise and you don't know about how your body works, you're probably better off, like anything, uh, learning from someone or, or taking a few classes than maybe experimenting on your own. Having a trainer, at least a trainer who's, who's certified and qualified and takes your goals uh, into consideration when designing your program can help you avoid a lot of pitfalls and can take, A, a lot of gray area out of it, and B, can help you get to your goals a lot faster because you're not going to make the mistakes, hopefully, that you would have made if you were just winging it on your own. What I have found is that the, the inspiration as well, just the emotional aspects of it, how do you, you know, everybody, I don't think you'd find anybody who says, listen, I don't want to have a great body. Everybody says, I want to have a great body. What is the difference, though, when they come see you? How do you inspire them to, to stick with it? Uh, how do you motivate? It's a funny thing because I, I don't think I consciously think about motivating. I try to make sure that I'm always on time. You try to be a constant in their lives. They have a lot of variables that are, 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 are changing all the time. So if you can be the one constant, if you can always kind of look the same and, 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 and be the same, and there's a certain level of, of cleanliness and, and things that are bringing them to the gym that make it a good place to go, worth the destination, then hopefully they come back and they, they have a pleasant association with it and they want to stick to it. Making it a part of your life. We're getting lots of celebrity secrets. More of that coming up on House Call. We're here in celebrity trainer Gunnar Peterson's LA studio and we've got time for one last question. Brooke in Chicago wants to know this. How can the average person find a celebrity-like workout routine that works for them without the celebrity cost? And, and you, you talked about this already a little bit, but what about the average person? Uh, there's so many ways to get information nowadays. Clearly, the Internet's a, an easy one, but there, there are books, there are DVDs, videos, there's shows out there. There, there are whole networks devoted to fitness. You can put together a lot of... Uh, interesting things that could yield tremendous results. You just got to make sure you, you, you lay the foundation properly and you're not winging it. Really good stuff today. Appreciate it. We're out of time for today, unfortunately, but Gunnar Peterson, thanks to you for letting us into your house and into your studio as well, helping us gear people up, making them look uh, that star-like quality about them. Actually, I think the term is starlicious. Starlicious. Yet another tip from Gunnar Peterson. Listen, make sure to tune in one month from now as well. We're putting together your summer survival guide from beating the heat to some quick fixes before vacation. Plus, Jen Miller will be back with month three of her workout to keep you in shape for the summer.